Have you guys ever wondered why tires spin their thread or, or maybe why your materials spin on the hook axis or why you keep breaking your thread or maybe why your materials pull out altogether? Well, the first topic of this entire series is thread control. And we're going to start thread control from the very beginning, which is casting on and building up a proper base. I'm going to bring with Bramer's Custom Flies. Let's do this. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to kind of use worst case scenario, which is GSP. So this is 150 denier, which is the thread count, gel spun poly something, which stands for plastic. It's just gel spun plastic. It's multi-stranded, it's flat, it's non-waxed, and it's not elastic. It's very technically difficult to tie with, but it's ultra super strong. Now I'm using this because it has like no bite on a hook shank whatsoever. And if I can teach you how to lock this in and build up a proper thread foundation with this and nothing but this, then you'll be able to do this with every other tying thread that you have access to. <clears throat> now, I'm going to show you what happens for the most part why materials spin on the hook shank. And it's for the same reason why braid spins on a spin reel if you don't put a mono backer on it. It has no bite. It has nothing to grab onto. So if you take this thread, I got the, the tag end pinched in my finger so that it can't go out, and you just kind of wrap forward and wrap back. If you clip the tag end now and that's your thread base and maybe you go down and start tying materials on, if you just pull on this, it'll slip <laughs> all the way out. There ain't nothing holding that on there. So let me show you kind of proper uh, base building technique here. And what you're gonna see is I'm gonna put some super high pressure wraps in here. I'm gonna wrap forward, pull hard, wrap back over, pull hard. I'm going to keep my tag end going all the way down to the bend and about every five or six wraps I'm going to do this crazy hard pull. And that pull it's extremely important that when you do it you don't pull with a 90 degree bobbin nose. Few reasons. That's a lot of stress going into your thread. Very easy to break it or fray it. Second thing, you'll hurt your bobbin. You'll either break the tube, you'll break it out of the weld joint down here, or you'll gouge it with a very hard thread like GSP. What you want to do is you want to point the nose so that it's parallel, it's totally in line with your thread, and all the pressure goes straight into the thread spool. So what you're going to do, you got your, you got your tag end locked in your fingers, you're going to do say three or four hard up, three or four hard down, straight hard pull, three or four hard down, straight hard pull, three or four down, straight hard pull. Now if I pull on this, that tag end, that tag end can't move at all. It can't move, it can't slip, it can't go anywhere. Now most people would consider that a good base. The problem is, is if I relax my thread right now, It'll relax. There's no elasticity. There's no bite. There's no roundness. There's no wax. This is GSP. If you relax the thread now, this will just slowly start to back off. And that first wrap, that tailing wrap, usually between the point and the barb, is going to be able to spin or move or get shoved down that, that shaft and you're going to lose a lot of the durability. So I'm just going to ignore the tag end. I'm going to wrap up. Lock it down. Wrap up. Lock it down. Wrap all the way up. Come all the way back down. Now my thread base, the thread closest to that shank, the thread touching the steel, is wrapped all the way down, but instead of being able to back off, I sectioned over top of it and came all the way back down. So the very core, the very nature of that tying thread stuck against that hook shank cannot physically move no matter what you do to it. Now if you do this correctly, even with a flat thread like GSP, you hear that? You should have a nice, rough, high friction, grabby, bitey surface on that hook shank that cannot slide up or down no matter what you do to it. That's the proper foundation for tying thread. That is how you put down a thread base which is going to bite into the hook. It's going to make sure materials can't spin, materials can't slip down, and materials can't pull out. Of course, we're going to have to get into catching materials and tying them in. But that is the basis of every fly that you should tie. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.